Well, after a dramatic night at the State House yesterday, we're taking a closer look at the fate of abortion related legislation that's been the source of major debate. And last night, Senate lawmakers voted down one bill, but are keeping another identical piece of legislation in play. The bill would codify the right to an abortion into Rhode Island state law. Iowa News News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now with what you need to know about where things stand tonight. Kim. Well, Mike and Shannon, as you mentioned, the two pieces of legislation being considered by the Senate Judiciary Committee last night were essentially identical. By holding one of them for further study, it means the abortion debate is not yet over, but there is still a lot of uncertainty about how things could play out. A dramatic scene unfolds in the Rhode Island Senate Tuesday night as pro-choice protesters demand a vote on legislation to codify the right to an abortion into state law. The Senate Judiciary Committee voting down one bill that would have done just that, a major win for pro-life advocates who were also demonstrating at the State House Tuesday. To discuss it with somebody. But the debate is not over yet. One bill, the House-approved Reproductive Privacy Act, was held for further study by the Senate Committee Tuesday night. It now has has two potential paths. One path is short. No further vote is taken and the issue of abortion is off the table for the year. The other path is more complicated. The Senate Judiciary Committee could pass an amended version of the bill, which would also need to clear the full Senate. Then House leaders would decide whether to hold a vote in their Judiciary Committee, setting up a final vote on the House floor to send the bill to the governor's desk. Roe has been the law of the land here for 50 years, and I think it ought to stay that way. And I think the legislature should take action to do that and put people's minds at rest. But some lawmakers question the urgency. I don't know why there is a rush since nothing has occurred that would restrict abortion here in the state of Rhode Island. And Senate leaders say they are open to considering additional changes to this abortion bill, though it's unclear what those changes might be or if they will have enough support from lawmakers. Coming up new at 6, we'll hear from the senator who swung last night's vote. Reporting live at the State House, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Kim. Right now, one of the most restrictive pieces of abortion legislation in the country is heading to the governor's desk in Alabama. It's expected to be signed into law. The bill would ban nearly all abortions unless the mother's health is at risk. Supporters say the bill is for the goal is for the bill to overturn Roe versus Wade and then have states individually decide what laws they want. A follow up now to the abortion debate at the Rhode Island State House, a debate that's not over despite the Senate committee voting down legislation last night. Iowa News reporter Kim Kalunian just spoke to state lawmakers a short time ago to see where things stand right now. She joins us now live with an update. Kim. Well, Mike and Shannon, even though lawmakers voted down one abortion bill last night, another one, an identical one, remains in play. And today, Senate leaders say they are open to finding a compromise before this session comes to a close. Now, last night, the Senate chambers were swarmed by protesters after that abortion bill was left in limbo. Today, Senate President Dominic Ruggiero says they'll start working on a compromise next week, but he doubts a vote will happen that soon. Ruggiero says they'll look to amend the House bill that they're considering, but sponsors of that bill have raised concerns about negotiating, saying, quote, while we have not been involved in any recent discussions in the Senate, we understand the advocates have continued to ask the Senate to bring the bill to the Senate floor for a vote of passage without further amendments. Now, today we spoke with Ruggiero and the senator who swung last night's vote about what could happen next. The Senate president has allowed this legislation to to remain uh, and there's a possibility something could be worked out, but I don't know. I remain very open minded and I remain uh, willing to to work on any type of compromise language. Do you think that there will be a resolution by the end of the session? Um, hoping that's the case. Uh, you know, hope springs eternal up here. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, but uh, we're hoping that we can sit down and, and get all the parties together and, and build a consensus. Now, if the Senate decides to amend and approve that House bill, it would have to go back over to the House for final approval. Today, the House Speaker tells me that the House will be happy to consider any legislation the Senate sends over to them regarding this issue. Live at the State House, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.